When we purchase seed, oftentimes, well, we always tell people to purchase something that's called certified seed. That doesn't mean it's organic certified. It's certified, which means that it's been tested. It's been grown in a certain way where it's, you know, got some per low percentage of weeds, but it's also been tested for diseases, and it should be free of disease. And I think people walk the fields. To people look, walk the fields and they disease. scan and scope. And to the best of my knowledge, and I don't know if there's someone from NOFA here or VOF, um, I do not think that there's cert or certified organic, certified wheat seed. And I've, so this I've is never a, found any. Yeah, this is this is a problem because if you had were buying certified seed, you would not see this. Okay, and what this does is essentially eats the seed alive. Can you test your seed if you if you're not? like saving your own? Yeah. You can. I don't know of any commercial labs that do it. We we talked about it last year with a, a plant pathologist. It can be done. But um, so this is what happens when you save your own seed. You may have one of these in your entire field, right? Big deal. Well, this thing spreads all of Ben's weed out here because it went blue when it was wet and, yada, yada, yada. and you don't see that in the first year but then he saves his seed so now we went from one head to how many 10,000 heads maybe or 10,000 seeds that have it so he plants that out the next year and now he's got 10,000 of these which you may not even see from here and by the time he harvests it you won't see this at all all you'll see is a twig and you won't even know it was there because remember last year we but came out. But it's going to reduce your yield. Yep. And uh, the more years you plant that, the right. bigger yield reduction you're going to have because there's no seed in that. So, so, so that's one reason. And that's reason. why you got to get out and scout your field. So you got to scout your fields, yep. know what's there, and you know if you do have this problem, don't you really shouldn't be saving your seed, and you certainly shouldn't be selling it to someone else because you'll be spreading it around. And and the reason this is not in conventional production is because seed seed Fine. treatments cure it. Oh, seed treatments. Yeah, cure regular it. fungicidal seed treatments cure it. So okay. you're saying because of that, you shouldn't like you shouldn't be saving wheat seed. Well, I mean, there's a lot. I don't know. I don't want to. Well, you know, that, that's a personal well, preference, yeah, but this personal. is a major. Uh, yeah, that's a major problem. Yeah. It, it is personal. Um, because my my business is is growing wheat and milling wheat. Um, I don't want to take the chances of saving my own seed, and that. I will do a little bit of seed every year just to see. Okay. But uh, but generally, I buy certified seed every year.